Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another edition of 2-Bit Talks. And today I'm going to talk about an article I came across. And at first I was bored with this article. I was just kind of like, eh, you know, this, eh, I, I don't really care for these, you know, big muscle flexing. Look how many sales we made. But what, what caught my interest is the changing of the wording. Anyway, according to this news article that I came across... Microsoft, of course, announced uh, how much money they made this quarter. It was like $2.738 billion. Uh, that's about, if I remember correctly, what was the last quarter before that? Because I, th- I believe I made a video pointing that out, how people are always going, oh, you know, PlayStation, they're selling so many consoles. But then when you look at the profits, Microsoft is still making like almost double the profits Sony is. So just measuring console sales alone, uh, I don't think accounts for for everything uh, and and that goes to Sony's point too because Sony has those exclusives they sell a lot of those and that makes them a lot of money too so just pointing to their console sales does not show the health of the PlayStation brand um, but what I was gonna say here though was that they just went on talking about all their numbers I'll link the article in below if you want to see the exact numbers but the interesting thing is is for the first time in a really long time, Microsoft revealed some hardware sales numbers. And they they said that they're up 95% year on year, and they cite the Xbox One X as helping them get to that point. And that doesn't really surprise me because, I mean, the X, if you're looking for 4K gaming, the Xbox One X is the best place to get that on a console. On a console, now you can get way better 4K gaming on a PC, but you gotta invest in it. But if you're looking at a console, the Xbox One X is the absolute best place to get that experience. I mean, hell, Red Dead Redemption 2, 4K plays best on the Xbox One X. And I think that's a huge selling point. So when people are looking for that premium console, they're going with the the X, uh, especially with games like Red Dead uh, and all that stuff. Th- those games you can only, I mean, those games are multi-platform, so you can only get the absolute best experience from the Xbox One X, where I think what's still helping PlayStation out, of course, is those exclusives. You're not going to play Spider-Man on, on Xbox and all that. You're not going to play God of War. So PlayStation, by no means, does this mean that PlayStation's doing bad, but it is saying that the Xbox One X is very successful, and I and I think to that point, a lot of um, third-party games are just playing better on there. So people are going, well, I want the best. I want to play, you know, I want to have the best experience with with these games. And of course, uh, coming down the pike here uh, is all the first party that Microsoft has acquired. So I think they're getting ready for a one-two punch next generation where. Not only are they going to make sure they come out with the most powerful console they can, but also they're going to have games to back it up, exclusive games. Uh, So things are looking bright uh, at the end of this generation and the beginning of the next console generation for Xbox. If you would have fast forward about five years ago, um, I think it was about five years ago, wasn't it? Uh, Was it 2013, I believe, the Xbox and PS4 came out? You wouldn't have thought that because they they were not doing good for the longest time. And now things are starting to look up for them. So so that's that's good for them, I guess. But I just thought that was interesting that, you know, for the first time in a while, we've gotten, you know, hardware sales numbers from Xbox. So I guess they're, they're getting a little bit more um, confidence in themselves again. So that's good. That shows a healthy uh, game industry. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. As always, hit the like button, hit the share button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and ding the bell. That way you don't miss a thing. You might get notifications, say, of a new awesome video. Or, hey, maybe I'm going to live stream and you want to just pop in and and give me some shit and say, hey, you suck at playing this game. And I'll be like, ha, ha, ha. Yes, I do. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. As always, stay safe and play on.